Hello again everyone, in my video today I will be doing a comparison between Linux and macOS, juxtaposing things such as interface, functionality, flexibility and the like. Without any further ado, let's begin. First, let's start off with a brief history on both of these OSs. macOS or originally called macOS X is a Unix based operating system that began development in 2001, that is for the consumer version. At its core, it is a POSIX complaint OS built on top of the XNU kernel which incorporates a lot of the functions of the FreeBSD kernel. Along with the FreeBSD user end for standard Unix programs, as well as for the CLI. Linux is an operating system in a colloquial sense, it's generally implied that we are talking about a software distribution comprising of certain programs bundled along with the Linux kernel. The first Linux-based operating system was created by Linus Torvalds in 1991. This comprised of the kernel itself along with several user space tools, leaning heavily on the GNU utilities. As time progressed, more and more variations of the Linux kernel as well as permutations of the GNU utilities started popping up. Now Linux has multiple distributions and flavors. This includes popular distros of the likes of Debian, Ubuntu and even the infamous Arch Linux. Both Linux and macOS have a very rich past and are very polished due to having decades of development. Starting off with the comparison with user interface, I think Linux has the edge in this particular case. Not only do you have a plethora of choices, but you can also customize them to your heart's desires. If you want something modern and aesthetically pleasing, you can try out KDE. If you want something standard and polished, you could just as well check out GNOME. Else, if you're more inclined towards customizing, then you probably want a window manager. You can choose from one of the innumerable window management systems available with these window managers, especially ones like DWM, the only limit is your own creativity. You can practically change anything with regards to the UI and UX elements. In essence, there is no cap on the potential changes you can make. Furthermore, these window managers are incredibly lightweight and easy on your system, taking only a few hundred megabytes of RAM at a time. When we go to the side of Mac OS, everything is more uniform. You see the OS, as in how Apple wants it to appear and be portrayed. Especially with the advent of what they call neomorphic design style introduced with Big Sur. The amount of customization is very scarce to say the least. This is mostly by design so that when one uses an Apple device, there is a sense of familiarity. There is also an aspect of histrionics in play, as both Apple and the people who use it want a certain archetypal design that is easily recognizable. Understandably though, this will come at the cost of personalization. Furthermore, at times I've realized there are some things with the UI as well, like the non-standard use of the close button and lack of what I would consider sensible window snapping. When we talk about costs, Linux is free both as in Libre and gratis. There is no one-time payment or subscription fee for most of the Linux distributions. You simply download the image and install it on your machine. This is also very easy as Linux's support for almost all types of hardware available in the market. In the case of macOS, we find that it is diametrically opposed to the paradigm followed by Linux. In order to use macOS, you need to purchase a computer made by Apple. That is the only officially supported way of using the OS. It is practically impossible to get in on any other hardware, excluding some niche situations like when using a Hackintosh build. Another downside to this would be the fact that once you get an Apple machine for all intents and purposes, you are locked into their ecosystem. There are certain advantages from certain perspectives, but I'll discuss more on that later. To summarize my points for this section, if hardware availability and flexibility is king, Linux wins hands down. In the case of Mac OS, though, any other hardware other than Apple can be considered a persona non grata. When it comes to ecosystem and ease of use, the advantage, I believe, will be on the side of Mac OS. I say this with certain caveats because, in order to use the ecosystem designed by Apple, you would need to have devices made by Apple only. This is not the case with Linux as programs are usually distribution and machine agnostic provided that the hardware exists, but with lesser polish and more self-configuration. If we were to consider solely the user ease of use with little to no configuration on our part, then the aforementioned Apple environment would be superior. 
presupposing that you have a laptop, a desktop and a mobile device by Apple. Then only can you actually reap the benefits of the mentioned system. Your phone will seamlessly connect with your laptop and allow for remarkable functions. You can share your clipboard, answer calls on your desktop OS, use the iPhone as a webcam and numerous other features. Features that simply don't exist on other operating systems, or at the very least will be tedious to set up. Linux has some of those features as well, but the setup required can be quite arduous for some to do. But even then, the ease of use of macOS and the Apple iOS system can seldom be matched. In relation to software availability, the App Store is sparse to say the least. The most common applications are available of course, but the pool of apps is lacking as compared to Windows or even just to Linux. This store is the for all intents and purposes the only source of applications for someone who uses macOS. Contrasting this with the deluge of applications in a Debian or Arch repositories, it pales in comparison as the difference in packages is night and day, not to mention sources such as FlatHub, the Snap Store and various other packaging vendors and formats. Of course, there are things like Homebrew which can be used as a source for mostly open source programs, but it can be more tedious to set up, needing to put consideration into certain library dependencies and so on. When it comes to personal gripes, one of the main issues that I have with using an Apple device would be the fact that I would have to buy a new piece of hardware whenever I want to upgrade. I can't reuse certain parts or upgrade things like the SSD or the RAM as these components are soldered and separately encapsulated. If you wanted to upgrade your device, the only option would be getting a new device altogether. Likewise, if something broke like the screen and keyboard, only Apple would be able to replace it. You'd have to go to the official store and get it repaired which would cost you several hundred if not thousands of dollars. I only mention this because if you want to use macOS, you simply cannot use it with separate hardware. In conclusion, between the two operating systems, if I had to choose only one, I would probably choose Linux. As I believe it would have more pros than cons in regards to software availability, customization and privacy. And the fact that Linux can practically run on almost any hardware really sells it for me. Others may want the ease of use and simplicity of Apple. Then in that case, macOS would be a terrific pick. Else, for a more advanced user who tinkers around more with their systems and want complete control of their machines, I would definitely suggest Linux. With that, it brings me to the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Also, um, this is my first video in quite some time. I have not been able to upload any content in the last few months due to some personal reasons. But that's past now, therefore I am planning to upload more frequently. To those who stayed subscribed, again you have my sincerest gratitude. And I also really appreciate the subscribers who commented and reached out, I am very grateful for your concern. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.